Today's experiment is walking water, a very fun and easy experiment. Hey, welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name is Ken, and today we're going to do a really easy and fun experiment, walking water, right? So the water we're going to make walk from one cup to another. So I'm going to go over what you need and the science behind it in just a second. What you need for this experiment is scissors and paper towels. I use Bounty, uh, the quicker picker upper, some color, uh, food coloring. I got red, yellow, blue, and red again. And then you need um, seven cups or glasses um, if you're gonna do the full experiment, only three if you just wanna do a partial experiment. Um, you're gonna fill every other glass. So you can see that one's empty, the middle one's empty. Um, and then that one's empty. So three empty and four full. Try to fill them all the way to the top. It really helps. Folding your paper towels, you fold it once like this, um, and then you fold it a second time and press it down, and then you're going to fold that in half. Once you have that there, you're going to fold it the long way in half, and then now it depends on the size glass you have if it fits. You don't want it standing up too high. So when I fit it in the glass, it was too high. I had to cut off just about an inch, but everybody's experiments can be different. And then when you put it in, it should just be the tip of the glass, the rim of the glass. So now we're gonna put the colors in. I start off with red. I put five drops. You could do as many as you want. Um, then I went to blue, um, and then I went to yellow, and then I finish up with another red um, there. But as you notice, I skip every other glass. So there's three empty, four full. Try to fill those water glasses all the way to the top. Then you're gonna stir it, but make sure you dry the spoon off every time so you're not mixing the colors in between if you use the same stir. So you can see I'm drying them off. And then we will go from there. So now the last step is gonna put the paper towels in and then the experiment will start. So you put it in, you can see the paper towels just go over the rim. That's why I cut them and you just continue to put them in and look how fast the blue's already going up. And I'm gonna tell you the secret how that, why that is and how I got it to go up so quick as where if you see other videos out there, um, they don't go as fast, but you can see they go very, very quick here. And I'm gonna explain that in just a bit about when I explain the science behind it. So you go all the way to the end and finish that up and I'll explain the science next. So the science behind this is caterpillar reaction effects involve two things, surface tension and liquid itself. So the contact of the angle of the liquid on a solid surface, um, high surface tension means that the liquid is capable of climbing strongly to itself. Low contact angle means good wetting, right? So the uh, surface by itself, the liquid, is maximize the effectiveness of the pull. So this means high surface tension and low contact angle means high caterpillar reaction to draw up the paper towel. Now, as for the temperature of the water increases, the surface tension of the water diminishes. This makes it easier for the attractive forces between the water molecules and other surfaces in the vicinity of the pull of the caterpillary action of the pores and the surface when they get wet to be able to pull it up quicker. This is why hot water does a better job of rinsing dirt out of your clothes than cold water does. It reduces the contact angle between the water and the solid surfaces, enhancing the wettability of those surfaces. So note that you know, we do reduce the surface tension of the water. We reduce the availability of the pull, uh, you know, the force that it can expert or drag itself up a vertical uh, surface against gravity. So although the hot water wets the surface better, it cannot climb as far uh, up the surface. So the caterpillar reaction draw goes down in response. But we have that paper towel so close um, that it's actually not an effect on the gravity. So here are the end results. Took a little under two hours to get to this point. It keep letting it go, it'll, it'll continue to, to fill up. But it did make all the other colors uh, like orange and purple and green, which is pretty impressive. So if you like this experiment, please remember to subscribe and like and, um, and share. Thanks for watching.